Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to solve a question from geometry featuring Pythagoras theorem and binomial theorem of order 2 that is a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square. Let's get started. So before we begin we have to do certain con some construction. I am going to construct one line over here and one line here so that we get two different triangles. Actually it's a three triangle but for our work we need only two okay and accordingly I have named them since AO is directly coming from circumference to the center that's why it is named as R radius rest is X plus R since O divide line segment BC in two different parts so this is X and this is R but X plus R is equal always equal to 20 as given in question so after construction we can see two different triangle AOB and ABC we are going to work on AOB in a right angle triangle AOB using Pythagoras theorem we get R square is equal to 10 square plus X square that is radius square is equal to X square plus 10 square as you can see in I'm talking about this small triangle okay and as well as X plus R is equal to 20 since BC is equal to 20 given in question therefore the value of X is 20 minus R now what I will do and it's almost done I will I what I have to do is substitute the value of X that is 20 minus R in equation number 1 and solve for radius let's do this now by substituting the value of X from 2 to 1 R square is equal to 100 plus 20 minus R square so I'm going to use a formula of a minus b the whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square so we have 100 plus 400 minus 20r plus r square as you can see r square is on both the hand of equation it's on the right hand side and also on the left hand side and they both are positive so either of them go to other side and they will cancel each other so I'm going to remove this now I have 20 R square that is coming to the left hand side 100 plus 400 500 square so the value of R is equal to 500 upon 20 and further division we got radius as 12.5 I hope you got some value from this lecture if you did then please subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next one thank you very much